Hey guys, welcome to the program. This is Eat Again PH. My name is Sean. I appreciate you being here. Kakain na naman tayo. Sagutin natin yung tanong ha. Masama bang kumain ng beef tendon? Medyo uso yun ngayon eh. Matagal na ito. Beef tendon has been around. Lited. Lited ng baka. Sarap niyan. Collagen. Gelatinous na parang mataba. Na napaka flavorful. Um, matagal. It's, it's been around. Matagal na yan. Pero parang nauuso siya ngayon eh. Nakikita niyo yan sa Goto Tendon. Marami na rin restaurants that showcase beef tendon. Kasi nagiging popular nga. And uh, in this episode, I'll take you to North Park. One of the branches in uh, in the South North Park. Um, madalas akong kumain ng beef tendon. I ordered the aniseed beef tendon na may Hong Kong noodles na kasama. Dry braised noodles na may nakapatong na... Naisip ko palang, takam na takam na ako. May nakapatong na beef tendon uh, cooked in this uh, sweet salty sauce. Ayan. Masama ba yung beef tendon? Taba daw yan eh. Makolesterol, pampa high blood, pampas... Putok batok daw yan. So, uh... I'm gonna give you uh, some nutrition facts about beef tendon as we go on with the episode. Disclaimer muna, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a medical professional, pero facts ito, uh, based on my research, may mga sources tayong uh, isa site, okay? Uh, I've done a little bit of reading at matag- matagal ko nang alam to kasi gustong gusto ko nung beef tendon eh and uh, I wanted to be sure that I was putting something um, I, I wasn't putting garbage in my body ayan weakness ko kasi ang taba mahilig ako sa taba nako taba ng baka taba ng baboy hanggang balat kinukuha yan kinakain ko yan at uh, <laughs> alam ko it's bad but you know the saying where there's fat there's flavor so tara punta tayo ng North Park I'm gonna show you what I ordered and uh, let's talk about beef tendon pag-usapan natin kung masama ba siya o hindi and here we are at the table ang una natin gagawin syempre yung sawsawa natin Chinese restaurant kailangan meron ganito meron kang side dip ng soy sauce with chili garlic oil na pipigaan mo ng kalamansi ayan very versatile yan pwede sa dim sum pwede mong uh, lagyan ng konti yung noodles mo pwede rin sa soup uh, kahit anong dish actually uh, toyo chili garlic oil kalamansi must have yan and let me show you the dish itself this is the aniseed beef tendon andun siya sa braised noodles section ng menu ng North Park. When you order this, you have to say braised noodles dry and tatanungin nila anong klaseng noodles ang gagamitin mo. I recommend for you to ask for the Hong Kong noodles kasi manipis. Ayan. Mas masarap lang pag, pag manipis. So, this is the aniseed beef tendon. Braised noodles dry Hong Kong noodles. 203 pesos. Ayan. So, malaki yan, pero... Kaya mo yan, solo yan. And when I order this, ako, ako lang mag-isa umuubos. So it comes with your noodles na neatly arranged, nakapatong doon yung mga lited, at may bok choy pa na garnish. Ayan, so uh, let's dig in. So let me describe to you how I enjoy my aniseed beef tendon dito sa North Park. Ginagawa ko tong parang kanin ulam style where I use a spoon and a fork. Hindi ako nagyo chopsticks dito. Ang gusto ko kasi, yun nga, parang kanin ulam style. Kukuha ka na ulam mo, ang ulam mo, ang pinaka ulam mo yung beef tendon. Tapos yung kanin mo, of course, yung noodles. Gusto ko sabay yan eh. Nasa isang kutsara yung beef tendon tsaka yung noodles. Tapos susubo mo yan. Lalagyan mo ng konting uh, chili garlic oil of course. Tapos pag subo mo, ang sarap ng combo na naglalaro sa bibig mo yung uh, nagsasnap yung noodles. Tapos nangunguya mo yung gelatinous beef tendon. Ayan, ganyan ang style ko dyan. And uh, it's always a great time when I have this dish. Uh, one of my, uh, masasabi ko, isa sa mga 
um, requirement ko para masabi ko na nag-enjoy ako sa dish is if I had fun. At uh, yung component ng fun when eating is important to me. Gusto ko yung uh, may sinasawsaw ako, may hinihimay ako, may binubudbud ako, meron akong uh, may mga pinagahalo ako. Isa yan. And the, as you watch my videos, you're gonna get to understand that more. Pero you know what I mean. Uh, there's a little bit of work involved in eating this. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of fun in eating aniseed beef tendon. Guys, ang beef tendon, litid yan, which means matigas yan in its raw state. Darating sa'yo yan, it's gonna be served to you malambot, medyo parang taba nga yan eh. Malambot, gelatinous, gooey, sarap yan, pero litid is matigas in its raw state. So, importante yung cooking process, kailangan mahaba, tsaka marunong yung gumagawa. And I'll tell you ha, dito sa North Park, uh, right here, dito sa particular episode na to, dito sa particular time na to, perfect lahat ng litid na na-serve sa akin. Malambot, consistent. And I'm telling you this kasi, alam mo, minsan, uh, sa North Park din, ha, and I'm sure nangyayari to sa ibang restaurants that serve beef tendon, may mga chunks na matigas. Hindi na bigyan ng attention. So, ma ma so, matigas. So much so na hindi mo makakain, hindi mo matutusok ng tinidor. Kaya ako minsan, when I order it, sinasabi ko na, ate, kuya, make sure na malambot lahat ng litid ko, ha? Para lang, you know, para mas conscious sila na to, to pick the parts na uh, malambot talaga. So at this point, let's answer the question, masama ba ang beef tendon? Masama ba ang litid? Kasi mukha siyang taba. Okay, so my source is, uh, so I went with the most obvious, I searched Google, uh, ang lumabas is an article from ABS-CBN News. And uh, according to ABS-CBN News, when they consulted the website MyFitnessPal, I'll take these numbers ah, from MyFitnessPal, 100 grams of beef tendon have about 150 calories and 36 grams of protein, okay? If you compare that with 100 grams of beef, yung laman ha, ng beef ha, it has 259 calories and 15 grams of fat and just 28 grams of protein. So, just that comparison ha, ulitin ko ha, ang tendon, 150 calories. Ang beef, 259. Mas mataas. Sa fat naman, I mean sa protein naman, with, with beef tendon, you get 36 grams of protein. Sa beef, ang protein mo, 28 lang. Ayan. So, if, if it's a question of which is more fattening, mas fattening pa actually ang, ang plain beef. And if it's a question of which has more protein, mas may protein pa ang um, beef tendon. So, you, you're, you're less fat and you get more protein to build muscle. I, I, I guess you can put it that way. It's not an excellent source of protein. Don't make it your main, don't make it your primary source of protein. But at least, you know, ha have a little bit of peace of mind when you eat beef tendon. So, yan ang sagot ko. It's not bad for your body. Pero syempre, everything should be done in moderation. That, 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 that applies to food. That applies to beef tendon. But if you want to understand if it's bad for you or not, it isn't as bad as you think. And there you have it guys, aniseed beef tendon from North Park, napakasarap. Before we move forward, before we get to the closing, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. If you like my content, if you love food, if you like food vlogs, if you like travel videos, please consider subscribing. I'm guessing you're gonna like it here. It's gonna help the channel a lot, okay? So what do you think of uh, beef tendon? Uh, matagal ka na bang fan ng beef tendon? Or if you haven't had beef tendon, tell me why. 
I understand some people have an aversion to fatty foods at mukhang fat ito eh. So, uh, uh, I, I can't blame you there if you stay away from beef tendon kasi mukhang taba. But, uh, what do you think of beef tendon? Are you a fan? Are you not? Did this video change your mind? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to have a conversation with you, okay? So, ayan. That's the video. I'll see you next time, guys. Till we eat again.